Hey guys, so I wanted to show you some of the things that I've gotten uh, in this month since the last time that I did one of these uh, advanced reader copy hauls. I did the last one I did was in December, and I received a few things since then. And I thought I would just show them to you real quick. I did quite a few reviews last year of things that I got from publishers, of things that I've requested. And I really enjoy doing that, and I'm hoping to do that more and more this year. So I'm going to be requesting quite a lot of stuff this year, and hoping to get it, and hoping to read and review a lot of it. And so all the stuff that you see in this haul, I'm going to try very hard to post full reviews on all of them. And we'll see how I do with that. I still have a few to catch up on from the last haul that I did. A few that I'm ready to post that I'll be posting this week or so. So I'm really, really excited to share these with you. Uh, this is everything that I've requested recently. The first two are both from Tor, and this is one of the last ones that I just got, actually. And this is Crossroads of Canopy by Thoriah Dyer. Look at how beautiful that cover is. This is the first in a new series called Titan's Forest, I believe. And this one sounds super interesting. Uh, the publicist actually got in contact with me about this one. Usually I contact them and request stuff from them, but she actually asked me about this one. And she actually offered to do a giveaway for me for this one, to host a giveaway for this one. So whenever I post a review for this, I'll also talk about the giveaway then. And uh, the winner will have to send me their address, and I'll give the address to Tor, and they'll directly send a copy of it to the winner. So that'll be cool. This one is basically about these 13 kingdoms that all exist within the city called Canopy. 13 gods and goddesses rule over these 13 kingdoms and are being consistently reincarnated into different bodies within people living in these 13 kingdoms within the city of Canopy. But below the city, there are two other places called Understory and Floor, which are not quite so well off as Canopy is. And it, it sounds super interesting. I cannot wait to give this a shot. This one comes out January 31st, and uh, that's why I'm sharing it first. It's the closest one or closest to the release date with this one. I wanted to show it to you first, and I'll be reading this hopefully very soon, hopefully getting a review up on it right around the time that it comes out. And then the next book that I got, also from Tor, is called The Collapsing Empire by John Scalzi. Now this one doesn't actually come out until March, I believe. And we on the SFF community on BookTube generally, I think, know who John Scalzi is. But uh, he's written a lot. He's written the Old Man's War series, which I've read a few books from and quite liked. He's written several other things that I would really like to get to at some point. This is his newest one and sounds really cool. It's the beginning of a new series surrounding this concept of the flow, which, is, which allows for faster than light travel. It's this sort of extra dimensional bubble that exists above the dimensions that we exist in and allows us to move very quickly to different points in space time. Uh, which actually kind of reminds me of a concept in the most recent uh, three-body problem book, Death's End by Six and Lou, which I loved and did a full review on. And uh, this this is really cool sounding. Using the flow, humanity just kind of spreads out all amongst galaxies and uh, just kind of leaves Earth behind. The flow kind of becomes different than it once was, and they're kind of seeing that happen, and they're trying to save uh, this empire, this collapsing empire, as the flow sort of shifts and changes. Humanity is possibly going to be cut off from all other parts of humanity that's all spread out across these galaxies, and it just sounds fascinating. It's going to be a lot of fun, I'm sure. John Scalzi writes really fun books, and I'm really looking forward to getting into this. The next two were sent to me by Gallery Press, and this one actually uh, is another one that I didn't necessarily ask for, but I'm excited to give it a try. Little Heaven by Nick Cutter. This one kind of surrounds uh, a cultish settlement called a Little Heaven, and uh, besides that, I don't know too much about it. I am going to give a sh give it a shot and see what I think of it. It actually already came out on January 10th. I haven't been able to get to it yet, but it is one of the things that I hope to read very soon and do a review on, and we'll see what I think of it, uh, because like I said, I don't know too much about it. They just kind of sent it my way in hopes that I would like it, I guess. So uh, I'll definitely give that a shot. And then this one is uh, one that I did ask for. It's called The Devil Crept In by Annie Allborn. I've heard good things about this author and some of the other stuff that she's written. And this is a horror mystery kind of thing about a little boy that goes missing. This boy's cousin and best friend who is kind of working to uh, figure out what happened to him. And uh, it's it sounds interesting. It sounds kind of similar to a lot of other stuff that I've read, but I really want to give it a shot just because, like I said, I've heard good things about the author, and I would like to take in as many more of these mystery kind of books as I can. I, I haven't been able to find too much that I've been interested in recently. I found a lot of SFF books that I've been interested in recently, 
but not quite as many mysteries and I I tend to enjoy things like this and so I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a try and see what I think. You'll definitely hear me talk about this. This one comes out on February 7th. The next two were sent to me by FSG, Pharaoh Strauss and Guru, Garau, something like that. Something that ends with an X. And this this first one, uh, they sent me the ARC copy of it uh, a little while ago. And they just sent me, I actually just got it today, the finished hardcover. So I'll show you the, the ARC they originally sent me first because it sounds really cool. It is Universal Harvester by John Darniel. And I love the way they did this. It's a VHS tape. It says Be Kind Rewind right there. And it's inside this VHS tape, this old VHS tape. And once you open this, you can see the shiny, lovely paperback arc edition in there. So that's to me, that's really cool. I kind of wish they were selling it like this, but I also uh, kind of feel special that I have one of the only copies of this, this edition of it. So that's pretty cool. I'll tell you what it's about in a second, but let me show you the hardcover of it all. So this is the finished hardcover. This is what is releasing also on February 7th. And uh, I have seen some mixed things on this so far. And uh, Thomas from SFF 180 already did a review on this and didn't like it so much. But it sounds like something I might be really into, so I'm not entirely sure what I'll think of it. But to me, the idea of it sounds cool. And it's actually, uh, the paper bag makes it look a little bit longer, but the hardback makes it look pretty short. So it should be easy to get through, hopefully. This one is about a VHS rental place in the late 90s that all of a sudden, some of the movies start having things rewritten on top of them. Customers are starting to complain about it. Uh, this one worker there named Jeremy... Uh, some of the tapes he ordered himself and he like he knows that that shouldn't be there so he starts to investigate and notices that some of the clips some of the very dark and weird clips that are overwritten on top of these movies have been filmed just outside of town so it takes place in a very small town i believe and uh, it sounds like a lot of fun honestly so i'm gonna give that a shot to do a full review of it and uh, we'll see if it can pull off uh, such a fun sounding concept and so then the next one is called void star by zachary mason now this one comes out actually I think in April, so it's a little ways off, so I'll probably read it around then. It comes out April 11th. This one actually I, I might just have to read the back to you to kind of tell you what this one is about. Here I'll do it this way. Not far in the future, the seas have risen and the central latitudes are emptying, but it's still a good time to be rich in San Francisco, where weapons drones patrol the skies to keep out the multitudinous poor. Irenia isn't rich, not quite, but she does have an artificial memory that gives her perfect recall and lets her act as a medium between her various employers and their AIs, which are complex to the point of opacity. It's a good gig, paying enough for the annual visits to the Mayo Clinic that keep her from aging. Kern has no such access. He's one of the many refugees in the sprawling drone-built favelas of the city's periphery, where he lives like a monk, training relentlessly in martial arts, scraping by as a thief and a hitman. Thale is from a different world entirely, the mathematically inclined scion of a Brazilian political clan. He has fled to LA after an attack that left him crippled and his father dead. So this one sounds like it follows a bunch of different threads. It's a science fiction story that seems to follow a bunch of different threads uh, in our world. And I guess the uh, not so distant future, but uh, it sounds pretty fun. And I'm going to give it a shot and see if I like it. And actually, I mean, it was kind of like a cover request. And I just thought this cover was freaking awesome looking and, uh, and that it was science fiction and that made me want to ask for it. So I did. Next is a sequel to a book that I reviewed last year, actually. This is published by Del Rey and it is Waking Gods by Sylvain Neuvel. This one I, I did like well enough. Uh, the first one, see, Sleeping Giants. Uh, there are some mixed things said about that one. I feel like a lot of people think it was a mixed opportunity. In fact, before this video was coming out a little bit later than I thought it would because I was watching uh, the live show on SFF 180, Thomas's channel on SFF 180. Uh, he just did a live show with lots of SFF booktubers about their favorite reads and some of their least favorite reads of last year. And it was a lot of fun to watch. I watched most of it. And uh, they talked about this one quite a bit in there. And I understand what, they're, what they were saying. A lot of them just thought it was a missed opportunity, that the format didn't really allow for what it could have been. It could have been better, that there, nothing really happens all that much in it. Uh, it surrounds this, uh, these giant parts that are found in the ground, uh, like body parts found in the ground that are of some weird material, some alien material. They seem to be very alien. And this interviewer, interviewer is interviewing the people uh, working on this project about this stuff. So we mostly read from the perspective of the interviewer. He's like the main character. And I enjoyed that aspect of it. Actually, I enjoyed him and seeing uh, his different attitudes towards different things. 
and it was it was an intriguing read i feel like it definitely could have been better and i liked it well enough like i said i did a full review of it i'm going to give this a try and see if i like it i think this is a trilogy so i'll definitely uh, continue on with finishing it and see where it goes hopefully it goes a little bit better than the first one i'm hoping it kind of ups the ante a little bit and makes it more interesting makes the story more interesting in general and overall i'm hoping i'm hoping it just adds more uh, to what's happening because like yeah it, it just kind of didn't go much of anywhere in the first book and I'm hoping this actually goes somewhere and then the last two are uh, the first book and the second book in a series and the uh, author actually got in contact with me about possibly reading and reviewing these and this is Bradley Bollier Bradley P. Bollier this is 12 Kings of Shirakai and I know several people who have read this already and quite quite liked it. They were talking about these two books in that live show as well, and that was fun to see uh, because I just I just got them, and I'm really excited to give them a shot uh, because I've heard many great things about them. So this one apparently surrounds 12 kings in Shurikai. It's about 12 kings. Uh, there's a lot of different characters, all the 12 kings. There's a lot of gods and minor gods and stuff like that. It takes place in like a desert kind of setting, and I, it sounds really intriguing to me. I actually don't want to know much more about it than that. I kind of want to go just go into it like this with what little I know about it already and uh, see what I think of it. It's an epic fantasy and should be a lot of fun. And so uh, Bradley Bollier was able to send me this one and also the sequel, which comes out in February. I believe this one also comes out February 7th and it is with Blood Upon the Sand, or Blood Upon the Sand if you live in the UK. I, for some reason, they got rid of the with, I think, in the UK edition of it. But anyway, so I really like these covers a lot, actually. They're some pretty cool epic fantasy covers. But So this is the sequel. I'm going to probably try to read these back to back. Uh, probably not in time for the release of the second one, but definitely very close to it. These are uh, two of the first things I'm going to read in February, I believe. So I'm going to give these a try and hopefully I like them. So that's it. That's everything that I've gotten from publishers uh, this past month. And uh, I, like I said, I'm going to be still requesting lots of things as time goes on and reviewing all of these, talking about more of these new releases coming out in 2017. I'm really excited for this year. There's a lot of cool stuff coming out this year. If you've gotten anything cool recently, if you're interested in anything that I talked about, if you would like me to prioritize any of it over anything else, I would love to hear about that because a lot of the stuff is coming out around the same time with a lot of the same days and I'm not entirely sure which order I'm going to be reading and reviewing them in but uh, maybe you guys can let me know what you think sounds the most interesting so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you later with more. <laughs>